First make a burning fire and meanwhile you will need to make 4 wood sticks with sharp edges, like I show you now. With knife or you can use the sharp wooden sticks to make holes in the beer cans. Next put the wooden stick like so. The barbecue is ready. Pick up your sausage, make couple of cuts, put them on the wooden stick and place them on the barbecue. After 10 minutes the lunch is ready. Ok, we're gonna start this project with this old DVD drive and inside you're gonna find small DC motor that can work with 9 volt battery. Next you will need 3 soda caps, 1 toothpick and 1 coke straw. With glue gun we're gonna glue everything on this toy, so let the glue gun work all the time. Cut the coke straw about 4 cm long and put the toothpick like I show you now. On other side also glue the soda cap and after leaving to dry you should get something like this. Now we gonna glue the motor with soda cap and you will need to place the motor at center of cap. On one side of 9 volt battery we gonna glue the wheels and make sure that they are spinning freely. From light plastic that you can cut with scissors, you gonna make holder for front wheel. One side you gonna glue it on 9 volt battery, like I show you now, and on other side you gonna glue the motor. The wires from DC motor we gonna connect to 9 volt battery terminals and you gonna do that with soldering the wires to 9 volt connector. Also I have added small power switch for turning on and off the tricycle. And one more thing if you want you can put LED diode at front of this junk tricycle that turn out pretty awesome. Here it is pretty cool junk tricycle that I made from household items and work with 9 volt battery. Hello Hoptubers, 
Today I'm gonna show you how to make simple water alarm using 9 volt battery, one LED, buzzer, styrofoam and copper wire. Let's start. First you need to glue a copper wire on the styrofoam piece and this will be the trigger switch. The buzzer and LED are connected in serial connection and positive wire from LED and buzzer are directly connected to the positive connector of 9 volt battery. The negative wire from LED and buzzer are connected through switch that is inside the plastic tube and when styrofoam touch the probes, the circuit is closed and the alarm is activated. Let's see it in action. If you like this project, hit that like button below and share with your friends. From this Seafield bulb, we gonna use the base for building this LED bulb. And be careful when you open the bulb not to break the neon tubes. Look in your junk electronics and I bet that you can find DC adapter that give 12 volt and at least 1 amp of power. Next, you will need plastic jar or you can use paper roll and about 1 meter of LED strip. Because the LED strip is self-adhesive, you can directly stick it to the plastic jar. I am using warm white color for this LED bulb. This DC adapter gives 12 volts. Cut your desired length of wire and solder that wires to LED strip, but pay attention on polarity. By now, you should have something like this. The wires from base, you gonna solder to input of DC adapter. Put the electronic board inside the plastic jar, fit everything else and with two component glue or glue gun, join the base with the plastic jar. For making this LED bulb, I spent money only for LED strip that cost me about 2 bucks. Now I'm gonna test my homemade LED bulb and you can see that it's working and she gonna save me couple of dollars on electric bill. By the way, many of you will think why to make one when you can buy new one for the same price. The shortest answer is I like to make stuff and I like to show you how I made it. Ok, first of all I'm gonna try this mini shocker on me. For making this mini shocker you will need an electric igniter that is used for gas stoves and fireplaces. And you can buy one in your local store for about 2 bucks. The igniter is powered by two AA batteries and there is just one screw holding the plastic pieces together. You can see that inside the igniter there is circuit board and ferret core. From ferret core came out one wire and one wire from circuit board and spark are between those two wires. This spark is enough powerful to give someone a nice smile. On top of igniter I open small hole to place the two copper contacts for making the sparks. The wires from igniter we gonna solder to copper wires that we cut before. And be careful when you glue the copper contacts, they shouldn't touch each other. To new watching.